Hi everyone, this is Spotlight Guy. Uh, I'm going to make a short video about uh, putting Clockwork Mod on your phone, on your newly rooted phone. So, uh, if you haven't seen my how to root uh, your Samsung Epic 4G Touch video yet, then click on the link in the description of this video, go back to how to root your phone, and then come back to this video when you're done all the necessary information and the link to uh, get the program you need and everything like that is in the rooting video so if you watched my video and you did the root and you're ready to get a clockwork mod onto your phone then very simple you go to your phone your settings applications development make sure USB debugging is checked mine is you're going to take your USB cord, plug it into your laptop or your desktop, plug it into your phone. It says USB connected, drop down. Make sure that you are not connected for USB storage. You're good. And yet again, if something happened to your driver since, the, since you rooted your phone, then make sure you download your Samsung drivers which is on uh, it's included in the XDA page on the link in my rooting video all right so after you're connected you're gonna go back to you that e4g auto uh, folder that you downloaded you're gonna scroll all the way down to run first again and it'll bring you back up to this familiar screen right here All right, so you're, uh, you already installed root. You don't want to uninstall root. We're going to install the boot image slash Z image. So you're going to hit C and enter. Now, this is going to give a list of the available uh, boot images. So select whichever, whichever uh, modem you're on. And then uh, you're gonna uh, select that that uh, boot image. So to figure that out, if you don't know already, go to your settings, go to about phone, and it's right here, the baseband version. I am running EK02. So I am going to be hitting E for my EK02 plus clockwork mod boot image. And yet again, like I said, only hit E if you are on the EK02. If you have a different modem, one of those that are up there, then hit that corresponding letter and hit, hit enter. All right, same thing. Please verify all the following. USB debugging is enabled. USB storage mode is disabled. Your Android drivers are installed. And your phone is connected to USB port and recognized. Press any key to continue. asking for root permissions and it's going to tell you right here I'll show you please turn on phone and exit the lock screen after that press any key to continue if you are properly properly rooted then you'll be good to go all right now we're gonna see and watch all this fun stuff again All right, installing boot image, waiting for file system to sync. All right, this uh, getting ready to reboot. This reboot will take slightly longer than usual. This will be recreating your Dalvik cache. So it'll be a little slower uh, for, for the first time boot, and it's all normal, don't worry. Press any key to continue, and it is rebooting.
All right, there we go. All right, on this, you can press A key to continue. It'll go back to your main menu screen. This time, you could take your USB cord out of your phone and wait for this bad Mamba Jamba to load up. 4G. Now, I don't know about everybody else, but I'm apparently in a really bad part of the United States to get 4G because it works in maybe two areas. So, like when I, when it works, I love it, but really, I just I rarely use it because I could never connect to it. All right, here we go. All right, there's the lock screen. Preparing an SD card. All right, to verify that you have Clockwork Mod, you're gonna turn your phone off. Hit power off right there. Okay. Wait for these lights to uh, turn off. All right, once it turned off, you're going to press and hold volume up and the power button until your first screen flashes. All right, then you can let go. Once it says Samsung Galaxy S2, let go of both buttons. There it is. We have Clockwork Mod. Clockwork Mod Recovery version 5.0.2.7. And uh, to get the to get the uh, selector button to work, which on this phone is the power key, what you have to do is it's kind of weird. You have to press up on the volume button, down on the volume button, up on the volume button until it says back menu button enabled. So once you see that, you'll be able to start selecting things using your power button. And then to go back, you can't use your embedded keys. You got to use just the what says on the screen, go back. All right, so we have Clockwork Mod. We are ready to install some ROMs. I can't wait. I'm going to be testing some tonight, and I'll be making uh, video reviews and tutorials on how to install and, you know, just seeing how, the, how great the ROM is. So if you like this video, Please uh, hit the like button on YouTube underneath it and uh, leave a comment, be it positive or negative. It doesn't matter to me. I have uh, thick skin, so uh, I just want some feedback. If you like all my videos and you want to keep up to date with everything that I post, then subscribe to my channel. And uh, I promise you that I will do my best to update se several times each day. Alright, thank you very much and I will see you next time.